So blasphemy is evil speaking. And so blasphemy against Jesus would be speaking evil of Jesus and uh, disrespecting him. And there are blasphemous pictures going around on Facebook and the internet. And so I'm just going to show you some of those. This is one. That is one. And, um, well, that was just an example. Uh, but that kind of stuff goes is going around, and it's like, you know, not even thinking anything about it. Uh, so that picture right here, this picture, that is blasphemy. That is blasphemy. So let's turn away from that. And the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we have all done, this is, blasphemy is sin, and we have all disobeyed God. Sin is disobedience or transgression of the law of God, violation of the law of God. And we have all have done that. And the punishment we deserve for doing things like this is eternity in hell. And so, but the good news is that when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he was perfect. So therefore, he qualified as the, sac he qualified as the sacrifice for our sins, our disobedience and violations to the law of God, our blasphemies. Uh, so that if we, in our hearts, rely upon his sacrifice, we for our salvation and not our own religious efforts we can be saved and so that's what it is let's turn away from this uh, this is the condemnation that light has come to the world and men love darkness rather than light that's what Jesus said in John 3 uh, so it's only by the blood shed at the cross that Jesus shed at the cross. His sacrifice and us relying in our hearts upon his sacrifice that we can be made just, just that we can be justified. With the heart man believes unto righteousness and uh, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And so that is what it is. Jesus was buried and then he rose again rose again and he is now at the right hand of God and he will return and the government shall be upon his shoulders and he is not this I don't know who that is but that's not Jesus Jesus Christ is glorious and he's uh, seated on the right hand of God that's he's seated on the right hand of God and he died for our sins and shed his blood for our sins so that we can be forgiven of blaspheming him like this so, God manifested his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So, that is what it is. He must increase, but I must decrease.